The asset management module is used to manage a fixed asset inventory, such as computers, furniture, vehicles, equipment, and so on. The asset management module can help you simplify the asset tracking process and improve asset reporting, which can help you comply with government regulations, meet audit requirements, prepare insurance claims, and so on. The asset management module is not used to manage a consumable inventory like office supplies, parts for maintenance, or raw materials for production. For that, you should be using SpendMap's consumable inventory control module instead. The Asset Master file contains the details of your assets. Most reports in this module pull some, if not all, of their information from the Asset Master file. There are a few different ways that you can add assets to the system. You can copy an existing asset to save time, or you can use this button to add a new asset from scratch. When first setting up the system, you might also want to import your assets from a spreadsheet or CSV file, which you can do using this menu option. Finally, for any assets that you purchase going forward, you can use this checkbox in your purchase order work area, and when you receive the purchase order, the asset will be added to the Asset Master file for you automatically, with all the details from the PO. In the General tab, you can see information about the asset that will show on many reports, like the Asset Listing Report and the Asset Depreciation and Valuation Reports. You can also sort and filter most asset reports based on these fields. For example, you may want to see a listing of assets in a certain category or classification, or perhaps you might like to see the value of your assets in one particular location. Note that once you save the details of an asset, you won't have access to the location field here anymore. To transfer an asset from one location to another, use this menu option and SpendMap will keep track of the movement of your assets, which you can see over here on the Asset Transfer Report. And still on the topic of the asset's location, this is where you can find the asset verification or inventory count utility. You can barcode and scan your assets to make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. And once the count is complete, you can use this report to get a listing of any assets that aren't accounted for. Finally, if the asset has multiple components or pieces that might get separated from one another, you can list the components here, and then SpendMap will print a separate barcode for each component, and the system will remind you to make sure that everything's where it's supposed to be during the inventory count. Over here in the PO Value tab, you'll see information that's used on the asset valuation and depreciation reports. Again, most of this information is filled in for you automatically when you buy assets on purchase orders. And you can find the valuation and depreciation reports over here. If you like, you can keep track of warranty information for your assets so you know who's on the hook for repairs if something goes wrong. And here's where you can get a list of warranties that are about to expire in case you want to buy an extended warranty before it's too late. In the Service Call section, you can keep track of service or repairs that's provided by your suppliers. So when you call in a service company to do work on your assets, you can record the details of the service in here. Then, as things progress, you can keep track of when the supplier showed up to do the work, when the work was completed, as well as all the financial details of the service. You can keep track of the open service calls in SpendMap, and you'll have the complete service history at your fingertips for when the time comes. So those are the basics of SpendMap's Asset Management module. As with most modules and features in SpendMap, all of this is optional. If all you want to do is create a master file with the details of your assets for reference purposes, please don't feel obligated to use the other features.